Hey guys, welcome to my channel! This is a Twin Flames reading messages from the Divine Masculine. Um, so, so masculine, guys, it's so masculine. See how masculine I am? Oh my god. Oh. Guys, I'm just like so masculine. I'm so excited, I can hardly contain myself. I'm so masculine. Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm just so masculine. Ugh. 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 Yeah, such a man. If you are interested in a private reading or even better coaching, please contact me at twinflameallstar1111 at gmail.com or better yet, just go straight to my website, guys. TwinFlameAllStar.com, where you can get your very own Twin Flame Tarot reading on your individual specific Twin Flame situation. And I got one even better, because here's the thing. I am a teacher by trade. I am a teacher. That is what I do. I'm a teacher who just happens to read tarot, not the other way around. Tarot is not my focus, actually. Coaching you on your twin flame journey is my focus. So even if you just get a 45, base, 45 minute basic reading from me, guess what? We're gonna talk about your situation. Oh yes, oh yes. The reading itself takes about 45 minutes, or I'm sorry, 20 minutes. It's 45 minutes for the whole session. The reading itself takes 20, 25 minutes, but when we're done, we're gonna talk because I wanna actually help you with your situation. That's what I do. I help you come into union with yourself. Wait, with myself? Yes, that's right. That is union. That's exactly what this is all about. The physical twin flame isn't going to come to you until you become union. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. What you do from there is your choice. But you absolutely have the power to attract your twin flame back into your life. Don't doubt it for one second. And of course, I have students who are doing that. One of my students is freaking married to their twin flame. Well, I think they're getting married. They just got engaged a few months ago. So very, very exciting. Welcome to my channel, guys. The best only twin flame channel that you need. I've got tarot. I've got teaching. If you're new to my channel, there's so much more. There's so much more. Go to the main page of my channel. Please go to the main page of my channel. Go to the playlists menu and look for the playlist called How to Get Your Twin Flame and watch those videos. If you did not know that that playlist is there, please go check it out. Go check it out. Go check it out. Seriously, go check it out. Here's the deal. Watching a tarot reading is interesting, but it's not going to help you get your twin flame. It's just not. It's just not. The videos, the other videos where I'm talking, that's actually going to help you. And I got something better. Talk to me. You can get a reading from me. It's only $99 for 45 minutes. And then there's also my class. Yes, I have an online Twin Flame class that you can take. It's about three hours, three, three and a half hours. You get the whole video course, almost four hours. It's like three and a half, four hours, right? It's almost three and a half, four hours. And then when we're done, you get to talk to me. You get to talk to little old me. And you get a tarot reading and you get to try out my workshop. You get all that for only $2.69. My three and a half hour video course, a reading, you get to talk to me, and my workshop. How do you like that shit? How do you like that shit? 
That's a lot of stuff. And let me tell you something. By the time you're done watching my online video course, you will know exactly what twin flames are and exactly why this is happening to you and exactly what to do about it once and for all. It will be the last time you ever reach out for coaching or tarot or anything on your twin flame situation. Trust me. Trust me. It's the introduction to the journey coaching package. Just go to my website, twinflameallstar.com and sign up today. The introduction to the journey. Oh yes. Oh yes. You don't think you could be with your twin flame? Think again. You absolutely have the power to get your twin flame. You do. You absolutely do. It's not a fantasy. You just have to align with the true purpose of this connection. That's all. That's all you have to do. And it's easy and it changes your life forever, guys. It's like, you know what? Let me tell you something. Getting your twin flame isn't even the best part. It's really not. It's really not. So check it out, guys. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Divine Masculine. Divine Ultimate Lover. He's the ultimate lover. He loves uh, the Divine Feminine so very well. Doesn't he just love you? Doesn't he just want to be with you and only you? I love you, Divine Feminine. You're the best ever. I gotta have you. See ya. I'm out. I am 5,000. I love you so much. Now I gotta get the fuck out. I gotta get the fuck out. I'm Divine Masculine. Peace. Peace out, Divine Feminine. All right, here's the deal. Queen of Swords in reverse, Divine Masculine getting way too emotional over his situation, and it's really starting to cloud his vision. I don't think he's really thinking straight right now. Um, he's really too focused on idealism, and uh, he can't think clearly, although some of the thoughts that he's having are about you and those are the ones that he can really grasp onto. It's his situation that he's confused about. He's not really confused about Divine Feminine. It's his situation. Because he's looking at his situation trying to figure out how to make it better without realizing that he is the situation. Okay? He is what matters here. He's at the center of the whole thing. He's thinking of it in very 3D terms like, okay, I'm with this person or I'm working at this job or whatever it is and I have to fix this shit. Instead of going, I gotta fix me. I gotta fix me. And then everything else will fall into place. So, his judgment is clouded. He's not really looking at the situation properly because he's looking at everything outside of himself instead of looking at himself. The only thing outside of himself that he looks at that he's kind of looking at correctly is Divine Feminine because he loves Divine Feminine. Now look at this. Four of Wands, recent past at the center for Divine Masculine. Divine, I gotta go now. Divine, peace out, 5,000. <laughs> Maybe I should just start calling him... Divine, I gotta go now. He or she, right? This is a homecoming. He's coming home to his divine feminine. He's getting ready, clearing the path, making way. Yeah, well, if his judgment is clouded, if his thoughts are clouded, it's because all these things are coming up to the surface. All this magic is coming up to the surface. He's coming home right now. Why is this happening? Maybe it's because you, Divine Feminine, are coming home to yourself. The energy between you gets better and better all the time. It's more neutral. 
you're coming into alignment, he's coming into alignment. It's like you're getting your love nest ready for you and your divine masculine. There's no other explanation. It's what he wants. It's really and truly what he wants. Now look at this. The chariot and the magician both in the reverse for how divine masculine feels towards his situation in the recent past. This is divine masculine stuck in this pattern of knowing what he wants, but he can't back up the truck and think clearly about his situation. He can't back up the truck and think about it, right? Like beep, 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 beep. <laughs> no, can't do it. He has to try to drag this shit forward with this shit job that he works at. He works too much. Maybe he's with somebody that's not good for him, right? He says he wants to be with him. You know it's not true. He says, oh, I'm so happy with this person. I'm so satisfied with this situation. Yes, I'm in love. I got to be with them, whatever it is. You know it's not true. You like It's even like the way he says it. Like you ask him, well, are you happy? Is this what you want? He goes, oh, yeah, that's what I want. Okay. <laughs> why, did, why did you have an affair with me? Right? And I don't know how many of you I've heard that from. All, it's like almost every single student, it's the same thing. He's married, he's with somebody, we had an affair, and now he's telling me he really is happy with that situation. Really now, how come you're cheating on that? He, she, right? I'm so happy, I'm so satisfied. Yeah, uh -huh, okay. So, he doesn't know how to back up the truck and think about this situation. This situation is so clouded for him. His thinking is clouded with regard to his situation because he can't figure out he is the situation. You get that, Divine Feminine. I mean, even if you're obsessively watching tarot readings, which you know you guys... I'm the one that gets up here every day and gives tarot readings and, and then tells you not to obsess over tarot readings. <laughs> but at least you're conscious of your life. He's not. He's ignoring his feelings. He's looking to the idealism. That's all. That's all. Now, how does he feel towards divine feminine, recent past? Well, we got the Ace of Swords next to the Page of Wands, right? Divine masculine really starting to embrace divine feminine as his destiny. Even if it's not right now, even if it's a few years from now, whatever it is, or months, or however long it takes, weeks, whatever it is, whatever it is, he's starting to see through the veil of reality. That's the true paradigm. He knows it, you know it, everybody knows it in the whole universe. But his vision is so clouded. He really needs... This tarot deck, by the way. See, this is the this is the tarot of the new vision. He needs that new vision, let me tell you. <laughs> That's really what divine masculine needs right now. Just being in this situation that he's in, what you guys like to call his karmic partner, right? His karmic situation. That's what you guys like to call it. Just being there is clouding his vision and he can't look at things straight. But with Divine Feminine, at least he knows what to expect. Love, appreciation, you know, no more fake promises, really great sex, by the way. It's all there, but he has to run away. Why? Your energy. It's your energy, Divine Feminine. There's no conversation you're ever, ever going to have with your Divine Masculine that's going to get he or she to see, oh yeah, you know, this person is the one for me. It's your energy. You have to ascend spiritually and embrace Zen to do this. You have to align with your soul to neutralize your shared energy. Current energy with Divine Masculine, the sun. The sun in reverse, 
His heart is ready to explode with love. That's why it's so clouded. He, he can't be with divine feminine because of the energy. He can't see clearly what's going on with his living situation, work, family, partner, whatever it is. But he's got this love buried deep within him or her. And it's very, very pungent. It's very, very strong. It's really getting in his face right now. He feels good, but he doesn't like his life situation so much. Not liking the situation very much. So there's a lot of confusion, and he's got things in his situation that make him feel good. Right? Possibilities, idealistic goals that don't really make you happy. But he's clinging to them. He's clinging on to them. Look at this. Seven of Wands next to the Seven of Cups in reverse for how he's feeling towards his situation right now. Not very good. Not very good at all. He's very, very conflicted about it. He's on the defense. Maybe he has some tools. Maybe he has, he or she has some leverage. To make it okay with his boss or his mother or his partner or whatever his, what you guys like to call karmic situation is. Maybe there's some leverage there. But it's just too damn confusing. I've got this leverage. This person is finally treating me in a way that I feel is respectful. But I'm just not happy. And I, I haven't been for a long time with this person or this job. And I'm never going to be. These remedies are temporary and they're not going to work. They're not going to work. Now, look at this. How is he feeling towards Divine Feminine right now? Well, we've got the Queen of Wands in reverse next to Judgment. The Judgment card. Right? That's karma. His deep respect for the Divine Feminine is finally starting to get the best of him. His true desire has always been divine feminine. It's always, always been like that. But he's afraid to take that leap. He's afraid to take that step. He or she doesn't think he's good enough, doesn't think he deserves it, doesn't think it could really happen. Why? Why? It doesn't make any sense. But I'll tell you why. It's your energy. It's your energy. All right, I'm going to pull an oracle card. I just felt it. It's right fucking there. It's totally this one right here. Oh, well, there you go. Divine happy pants. We're not divine creepy pants this week. Divine masculine, are we now? We're divine happy pants. Joy, truth, and love. That's divine masculine. Divine masculine is love. You and Divine Masculine together are love. And that's what this journey is all about, especially for you, Divine Feminine. Embracing the love that you are. Love is not something that you can give or receive or have or do. It's what you are. And you just have to align with that. And to a lot of people, that sounds like gibberish. But here's the truth. It's not. It's the essence of your being, Divine Feminine. It's the essence of your being. Go to my website, twinflameallstar.com, and check out my introduction to the journey online coaching and tarot package. If you're not sure how to move forward with your twin flame situation, I've got the tools. I've got everything that you need. I've got an almost four hour long video instruction course that will explain to you what twin flames are, why this is happening to you, and what you can do about it once and for all. It will be the last time you ever spend a penny on your twin flame journey or coaching. I promise. I promise. And you guys, it's not expensive to start. It's only $269 and you get the whole video package. I'm about to release a bonus video with it. You get a tarot reading. You get to talk to me for almost an hour and you get to try my workshop. And you guys, it's not expensive and you can start right now.
You can start right now. It's my introduction to the journey coaching package. You will know exactly what to do about your situation once and for all. You absolutely will. When I tell you, you are love, it will make perfect, perfect sense to you. You just have to align with that. You just have to be more like this sun card. Divine masculine is love is the truth of who and what you are. It's the way that God made you. You two are a perfect complement to each other. That's the truth. That's the truth. Now look at this. The Knight of Wands in the reverse. Most likely outcome, divine masculine, divine happy pants for the week. Divine happy pants. We're not divine creepy pants this week because you guys, he is really loving on the divine feminine. Why are we getting the Knight of Wands in the reverse? This energy is a fire lighting under his ass. No matter what he said, no matter what he or she did. He knows what his destiny is. He's just feeling really stuck here. Really, really stuck there. Look at this. Two of Wands next to the Eight of Pentacles for how he feels towards his situation. He knows he needs to improve his situation. And he's starting to realize that he is the situation. Not the person he's with. Not his employment situation. None of it. He is the situation. That's what it's been all about from the very beginning. You're aligning with that divine feminine. You're starting to recognize the truth of this journey, that it's really just the true spiritual journey. That makes sense to you right now, and it's starting to make sense to him. Union with your twin flame is your destiny. Please go watch my other videos. Go to the main page of this channel. Go to the playlists menu and watch my How to Get Your Twin flame playlist please don't just watch tarot readings the world needs you the world needs you the world needs new earth the world needs new earth we need twin flames embracing their ascension and look at this what a beautiful way to conclude this reading the seven of swords next to the lover's card for how divine masculine is feeling towards his divine feminine. He knows he's not being honest. He knows what his true desire is, is to be with you forever. He knows he's not being honest about that. And he feels obligated to stay in his situation. And you know what, divine feminine? I know a lot of you went through the same thing in your situation, marriages destroyed, lives pulled apart, situations changed forever on your end. Many of my students go through that. And you're thinking, was this all for nothing? No, it wasn't all for nothing. It was all for you, Divine Feminine. Why would we leave the other piece of your soul left out of this ascension journey? Of course we're not doing that. The universe is always up to something, and you can trust the universe. Believe that. There you go, guys. Powerful reading. Beautiful week. I love this energy. I don't care how painful you guys think it is. I'm absolutely excited, thrilled, and just about ready to jump out of my skin. <laughs> thank you very much for blah, blah, getting tongue-tied here. Oh, thank you very much for watching. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.